Hey folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today we're going to talk about another QuickBooks point of sale error. I would, I'm, I'm excited to just hand you instructions on how to fix this error because many people see this error from time to time. I get calls about it all the time and here we go. I'm just going to hand you the instructions on how to fix it yourself. You can tuck those instructions in your pocket and use them on whatever day this QuickBooks point of sale error crops up in your business. Actually, the crazy thing about this error, uh, the error being error initializing QBPOS application log, the, the crazy thing is that it totally stops your day. It doesn't allow you to open point of sale. Uh, the fix is rather easy and you can move about your day, but um, for people who are just running a store, I mean, you're not an expert in point of sale. I might be, but I, I, I'm just gonna open up my brain, give you the fix here, and then you can have this for the future and you can use it whenever you want to fix error initializing QBPOS application log. So, uh, excuse my desktop, it's a little messy. I got a million things going on, of course. I got my point of sale here. I'm going to double click on it and when you launch your point of sale you may see this error error initializing qbpos application log if this happens every time you launch the program please contact technical support and wait on hold for two hours to get to them just so you can open your store just kidding don't do that don't call tech support and wait on hold forever we will just have a simple fix for you here this is going to pop up, but the program itself will not launch because it doesn't know what to do. Funny thing, the QBPOS application log is actually a little file that tells your, there we go, it's a little file that tells your point of sale how big the window should be and where the upper left hand corner should start on the screen and other trivial little matters really uh, into it should make it so that if it can't initialize it should it should just like skip it or something like that so <clears throat> you would normally let's see bring up a folder let's see i've just got to do this right here okay so you're going to launch a folder you're going to go to your c drive and in your c drive you're going to go to users and then you're going to choose your actual user. In this case, my username is Peter. Now, you are going to find the app data folder. And a lot of people are not going to be able to find the app data folder because it is a hidden folder. So, within this view here, you're going to go on the view tab. You're going to go over here and you're going to check so that you can see hidden items and then you will see app data inside of your user folder. Now we get to this point. Uh, I have all the instructions totally ready for you. I want you to follow them to a T and uh, in order to be able to print them, I'm going to have you go right down in the description. I have a link right to the instructions on how to complete this and how to finish it. And then you can go about your day using QuickBooks point of sale. So go ahead and click on the link down there and it's going to bring you to some easy printout instructions on how to complete the next few steps. And then you'll be able to run your store and your point of sale will work just fine. You can print them out to, for later in case this error pops up again. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel or jump on over to the Facebook group and join up so that we can answer other questions for you. Have a great day.